really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going. Someone's determined. Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? Maybe I should say living with determination. Let's do this. And here we are in the TV world. Though it's kind of early to say that. And look at Steady. Whoa, it really is that bear from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. Seems that he's been thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh Yeah, even Yosuke does not like it. So, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? Miss? Oh, I'm Chie. But never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. <sighs> if we're actually not that far off from the tutorial, this is probably the last part of this little tutorial section, or the intro. After that, we'll have what control the? over everything. A castle? Mostly. You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? I swear to God, if we reach the end of this castle and then they tell us our princess is in another castle, something's gonna... Someone's gonna be pissed off. Let's put it that way. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and Shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. It's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder, is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get, but after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it, or something like that. So Yukiko is producing that show herself? Ugh, I don't get this at all. Yeah, it's hard to make hey, sense right now. do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Uh, I don't think you want to know, Teddy. I don't think you should know. Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. Hey, get back here. Hey, wait, don't go alone! It's dangerous to go alone. You need to take this first. You better follow her.
She ran off on her own. A lot of shadows in that castle. It'll be dangerous inside for a girl by herself. Are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Come on, let's find Chie. Talk to Teddy. That girl ran off on her own. It's kind of dangerous. We should catch up with her quick, Sensei. Oh, that's right. Here, take this. You got a revival bead. Oh, this too. I gathered all of these myself. I'll give them to you, Sensei. Receive five randomly assorted peach seeds and soul drops. Peach seeds restore a small amount of HP, and SPs restore a little bit of SP. And conserve those. Use those only when you really need them. Be careful. Uh, this is gonna be a long part, I already t can tell you that. All that talking, and now we got this. She hasn't gone that far yet. Ugh, she ran off all along. Damn it, let's go. Wait a second, the shadows have gotten aggravated ever since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you, Sensei. Try to jump the shadows before they can attack you. Press the X button to perform an attack. Try and land a hit on the enemy before it can take the initiative. Okay, press the square button, you can talk to Teddy. But, what I'm going to do right now is change battle tactics. Now, as you know, in Persona, in Persona 3, the prequel, you could not control your partners. They would act on their own. They had good AI, but they didn't want to use that as much in this one. So they have the direct commands, because some people did not like the fact that you can control them, because despite the good AI, you can be... Sometimes they could be stupid. So, I'm going to put Yosuke to direct commands. Okay, you see that? There's a shadow. They have the shadow that looks like that, and one that's floating in the air. What you want to do is attack it right when it's not facing you. Now run towards it. Sex, let's see if we got an advantage. Yes, we do. Advantage to the player. There's only one enemy. Look for a first strike. All right, this thing I believe is. Not strong at all. I'm sure you can win. I think it's weak to electricity, if not wind. Yep, it's weak to electricity. Now's our chance. You ready? Here's an interesting thing. This is the all-out attack. Ready or not, when all the enemies are down, you'll get a one more option. In this case, one of the party members. As long as you have two party members, not just by yourself. Oh, look at this! I was waiting for this, and that's the persona I want. Maybe not the one that will be very helpful for the next floor or the boss fight up ahead, but this one will be helpful. And anyway, let me finish what I was saying. One of your party members, so long as you have two, you can pull out this all out attack. If you're alone, or if you're the only one standing and your partner is down, or partners, you can't do that. Instead, you'll get a one more. And if you choose to uh, deny using an all out attack, which I don't, there's some occasions where you don't want to, but we'll get there when that happens, you'll get a one more. So you just do one more attack or do something else. See mysterious cards before your eyes. You recall what Igor said, told you. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. A serious event may occur after defeating the enemy. Several cards will appear in your mind. Draw a card with a persona on it, you will gain a persona to spend the card. You can switch that persona with the one you currently have equipped. You can fuse it with other personas in the velvet room to create new more powerful personas. Besides persona cards, there will be blank or penalty cards. Nothing occurs if you draw a blank card. However, if you draw the penalty card, all the rewards from the battle you just fought will vanish. So the battle is totally meaningless. Any damage you took, stay there. Any SP you spent, will be forever wasted. It may be difficult to draw the desired card with the instability of your mind, but try your best. You're si are you saying I'm mentally insane? Okay, you see the okay, look at the row of three cards. The one in the middle is the persona, that's what I'm getting. The two around it are blank cards, nothing will happen. But and look at the row of two, the one on the left is the penalty card. Try not to draw that. Okay, for the first time, pay attention in this case, pay attention to that persona card. Okay, they gave me an easy one. Press the X button where your desired card is directly in front. This will screw you over because they pause it. Thankfully I know where the persona card is. I should. Yes! We got the Persona Ukabach. You have welcomed Ukabach into your heart. You did it, Sensei! And I leveled up. 
Now create able to create personas of level five. And now let's go continue fighting on. Uh. All right, there's a door right here. There's a hallway, so let's keep going on through here. Okay, there's the airborne shadow. I can never tell which one's the worst or one. Sometimes the big shadow there that we just fought that's on the floor is worse, but I don't know. Oh yeah, if a shadow starts chasing you, and unless you swing your sword or golf club back at them before it touches you, it will gain the advantage. Be aware of that. And okay, he's turning around. I'm gonna try and get advantages over them because trust me, it's always helpful. And apparently that's not an advantage, which it should have been. There are two enemies. Hang in there. That's some thick skin. Okay. Come on, how did that miss? Two enemies! Charge through them! Finish him. Yosuke pounded an enemy! It's a nugget! Sometimes characters will say the name of their persona if they are weak or they'll get a critical. Ready or not, here we No, the type three moves that regularly attack an enemy are physical. However, when you do an all-out attack, you'll be considered a type that's not shown on the status screen or like whatever they're weak or strong against. Almighty. We won't be doing much of Almighty unless we're um, unless we're using an all-out attack. That's the only Almighty attack we'll have. Almighty is a skill that we can eventually use for a regular attack or a spell attack, but not much to worry about right now. Okay, here's a chest. Let's see what we got. We got a life stone. That is a good item. We don't want to. I say hold on to those unless you really need it. Because what a life stone will do, it'll restore 30% of your HP. So it's a variable. It depends on who you use it on. And that should have been an advantage too. One of you dodged. I swear to God, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, you're calling his name out a lot. Nice. Good work, Sensei. All right, all, all right. out time. One for all and all for one. References to the ears. Just putting it out there, Yosuke will make a, lot, a good amount of references. Good luck trying to figure them all out. Some are very easy, others you might not notice because the reference to Shimigami Tensei game. Hmm. Okay, these are all good, but I'm gonna get that one in the top left. As retarded as that one is, we wanted to learn a certain move. Trust me. And we got the Persona Slime. And let's hope for more shuffle time. There is one Persona I want that will be very helpful. Trust me on that. It will be very helpful. I think these are the stairs. Oh, no, they're not. I think I'm gonna go back. I wanna go see what's up ahead. This is a strange layout. I don't remember this kind of layout. As you can see, I am, I'm almost at half my SP. I don't wanna use a soul drop though. I wanna hold on to that. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Right. By the way, if you ever get a new weapon, you can always go to the equip screen and you can check here. Along with armor and accessories, but accessories, it's going to be very hard to get good, good accessories. There will be a certain few, but we have to be lucky to get that thing, and that was a waste of my time. If there had been a chest, that would have been nice, but I thought that would have been a long hallway. Hmm. <clears throat> We're already at an hour of recording, but... Don't worry, this is the tutorial dungeon. It's still a tutorial dungeon, but we still... We still gotta go far. This is a long dungeon. I'm telling you that as well. But we're just going through the first floor so it could be a, get a basis of how we're gonna go through our RPG time. And I think... I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I think that door right there should be the stairs up ahead. If you press the start button, you can check the map and you get a good view of the little white lines or doors, obviously. Why do I have a feeling this is the actual stairs? Yep. Oh no, it's not. 
there's just an enemy there, but... Here's the chest, and he got a snuff soul, that's good. That restores 50 SP, unlike at uh, soul drops, which restore um, 10 SP. Might use a soul drop. Yosuke hasn't had a need to use his SP right now, so far. But it looks like I'm going to be wasting a lot of it. Don't worry, there will be moves that do like this case CO. There will be another form of it which will attack all the enemies at once. And when there's a group like this, it'll be very helpful. You ready? I definitely need to use a soul drop, because I'm going to need some SP. Okay, there you are, but that doesn't look good. I'll try for it anyway. Alright, we got Angel. This is the persona I want, and things are going well so far in this Let's Play. And Jiraiya leveled up. Now you see the stats there. The S T M A E N A G N L U. S T is strength. M A is magic. E N is endurance, which is kind of like how you can take a hit. And A G is agility, and L U is luck. Luck, I think, it determines on. I don't think it's your evasive. I think that's like your chance of getting a critical. And as you can tell, look at Yosuke's persona, Jiraiya. He's strong against wind, and he has wind skills as well. He specializes in that, but he's weak to electricity. And we haven't seen his moves, but Garu is a uh, wind attack. Well, as we could tell from his boss fight, because he used that wind of oblivion. Yosuke also has a move, Dia, which is a healing spell. Yosuke's type of bat or battle style is a general all-around type. Yosuke will tend to use it. He'll learn most. He'll learn a variety, as you saw spells. That's where he leans towards, more in my opinion. Physical moves and healing moves and some stat raising moves. In fact, I might use that Dia skill right now. Uh, I don't know if I should attack. Check. Or and yeah, the stairs are right there. And if I had went opened the stairs a second later, I probably would have been chased by that shadow. It's like 216 right now. I need to actually study for once because I, since I'm supposed to school so sick, I'm probably going to make up some tests. And I know I will and I'm not going to like it. Now you could use the triangle button which is the rush option. I might be resorted to using it. Let's show it off. You can only do regular attacks. But they can use whatever, but we it won! makes the battle go by faster. I'm not going to be using that a lot, though. I don't really like using that. Sometimes you got to play it tactically, but... And he was guarding something. He was guarding a chest. Let's see what's in it. A peach seed. Let's use one. These restore 20 HP. And I'm going to give that to me. And a soul drop. Actually... No... Yeah, sure, why not? I'll use a soul drop. And you know that those sodas we saw? Okay, I shouldn't have showed what those stu that stuff was, please. Oh, whatever. Use a doll. Oh, here's all Neo. This will restore 5 SP. The tap sodas restore 10 SP, and that's very nice for now. And I'll just give myself that. Yosuke's got plenty of SP, and I won't be needing that much anyway. So that's why I'm only using one. And these are the stairs, you want to find the stairs, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, fight everything and find everything you see in a dungeon floor, you need to train, believe me. Hmm, you're going, you're good at fighting, Sensei, compared to you, Yosuke stinks. Shut up, Ted. Oh, I do, I gotta admit, I, you have a knack for this stuff. Doesn't he? So you should be the one giving Yosuke orders during a fight. You can give orders to your allies during combat with the tactics command. You can give your allies orders in the field by pressing the square button. It takes me off your teddy to say that stuff, but I don't want to cause you trouble doing my own thing in battle. So don't hesitate me ordering around, I'm counting on you. Okay, that was just basically showing off the direct commands, which I've already sh shown off when I got into the dungeon. But it's gonna be it. This part was long enough, so next time on Persona 4, we are going to open this door, and GA should be in it. We're going to hopefully find Chia and stop her up for good. Make sure that she doesn't 
go out too far in Amame, she hasn't been attacked by a shadow so far. So if you like the video, leave a comment, rate, subscribe, check out the other videos, see you on the video. I will see you guys later.